In this video, I'll give you a brief orientation to the H5P Studio catalog and how you can search for and reuse content from the catalog area. First, start by visiting h5pstudio.ecampusontario.ca. When you arrive here at the studio, you'll notice that there is a large list of interactives posted for you to take a look at and shop around in. These interactives are sorted by recency, and so the topmost interactives are the ones that were posted just lately. You can see that uh, the title of the interactive, the type of the interactive, the author, perhaps with some names that you might recognize, the subject, and when it was last updated. Many faculty are also choosing to associate licenses with their comment, with their content. The default license here in the catalog is you, which means undisclosed, which may indicate that the person does not have a personal preference or a formal policy at their organization of what type of Creative Commons or copyright license they might associate with their content. On the left hand side, you can use the search criteria to be able to narrow down your search. You might know a title or a description of, a, of an interactive you're looking for. You might be looking for a specific type of interaction like flashcards, drag text, or image hotspots. You might be searching for some keywords relative, relevant to your course content, or you might be looking to search within a particular subject. The easiest way to start searching might by, be by simply choosing your subject and hitting the enter button to start searching for content that you could choose. Once you've looked in your subject area and you've used your keywords, you'll start to find more recent offer interactives that tailor better to your course content. Click an interactive to see how it might look for students. In this case, the instructions are to click on all the elements of information required to be correct in a Ministry of Health billing submission. So in this particular example, this faculty member has created a mark the words type, type of interactive. Students would choose what they feel to be the most appropriate words and check their responses. Alternatively, you can continue shopping back in the catalog for more content or more information. If you found something that you'd like, say for example, this general structure of an email accordion, you can perhaps reuse that content. In order to reuse any content or build your own content here in the H5P Studio, you'll need to register for an account. To register for an account, click register, use your full name, enroll or title at your college institution, and use your college or university email to be able to sign up. If you experience any challenges during the registration process, you can email open at ecampusontario.ca for help.